Hey, welcome back. And we're here with two a million on the juice box. Finally got you in here. Finally. Right, it was hard, man. We had to track it down and find you, but we got you. <laughs> yeah, second time's a charm, you know. Right. So tell the people what you do, tell them about yourself. So I am to a million, two AM a artist. Um, I came here from North Carolina. I'm out in Atlanta doing my thing. I got a network, a brand of people, photographers, models, DJs. Uh I'm about to go on tour with director Joe Young Spike, photographer show out beats. And um, makeup artist Erica XOXO. That's what I, I call it, you know. But um, yeah, that's what I do. I'm an artist. I do my thing. You can check out some of my videos or anything like that. That's dope. So where, you're, did, where did your name come from? I just have to know. I'm sorry. Right. 2 a.m. All right, to a million. Basically, everything I do, I try to take it to a million, to a million there, to a million views, to a million dollars. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Clever. Basically, so. Short for that is 2 a.m. Right. That and makes I, sense. That makes sense. Yeah. And I see you wearing your own logo and everything on your shirt. Yeah, Show I'm trying to, you know, we got the apparel going to 2 a.m. apparel. Um, I got the crop top hoodies for the females. I got the, the baseball tees and the t-shirts for the males. Um, We got the, the Happy Juice pins. Happy Juice is backing us on this tour. And um, some of their most popular states, Savannah, uh, Virginia, uh, I can't think how to say Charlotte, Raleigh. As far as cities, but um, yeah, as well as Splitterellos, oh. um, Extendos, so we won't have to um, get any Rellos or drinks on the tour. Right, I had yeah. some Happy Juice before. It was good. I think I met them like last summer when I moved here. Yeah, that Happy Juice. I don't drink, but uh, makes me happy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Where did your style come from? Cause you have a different style from all the other artists out here in Atlanta. Uh, my style probably came from my grandfather. My grandfather was a pimp. <laughs> like literally, like I don't know if you ever, if you ever um tuned into like Atlantic City hookers and all that. Like I'm He's from Atlantic OG, City, New Jersey pimp. originally. So my grandfather is like hats, uh -huh. suits. Every time you seen him, like everybody came to his funeral and wanted his hats. Like so, oh, cool. I just get, I just get my swag from him. That's crazy. So you say you're from North Carolina. So how was it growing up there? Well, growing up in North Carolina is slow. Like, like it's basically, it's a consumerism place. Like, everybody buys anything that you have to sell. So, I was always trying to find a way to start movements and trying to find a way to be different. And that's why I started discovering my talents or whatever. And, um, yeah, so I went to college, and I dropped out of college to come to Atlanta and do my thing out here. I got an investor to seek interest in me or whatever so mm -hmm. yeah that's why, that's why i'm here dang look at your story how long have you been out here i've been out here three years now I'm going three on three years. years yeah i hope to be gone before three years comes for me why i love mean, this fun it's I, something it's to do a, every day it is it's a visit city to me i i wouldn't settle down and stay here forever right it's a visit type of city though yeah, I feel like this is where it go down, though. Like, if it you is. get it popping here, you get it popping in NY, and you get it popping in L.A., you can get it popping across the country. So that's what we about to do with this music video. So I don't know what show I went. Yeah. But um, Erica Erica really does a good job with her makeup, so I need y'all to book my people's show out. Right, a book, good job. Book Erica, get that makeup done. You know, we coming out to your city. My man Joe is doing the school of shoots, teaching y'all techniques and all that on how to use this high-tech equipment and – um. We just trying to get it popping. You can book me in your in your city. Holla at me in my bio on Instagram or whatever to a million, and we can get it popping. So that's what the tour is about, about teaching. Get yeah, a tour. Well, the tour with Joe. Joe is the man for one. Joe right. does the casting most times for his videos, does the directing, does the cinematography, he does the equipment handling. So... The tour is basically Joe pulling up in cities. He he, he allowed me to come along. I'm privileged to go to 50 cities in 23 states with um, a talented, well-established music video right. director. And he's um, pulling up in your city. Like, he might pull up in New Orleans and shoot with Wayne. Or he might pull up in Pittsburgh and shoot with Wiz. Or he right. might, you feel what I'm saying? It's it's hard to get a director out of his at his production home. So if you could get him to come to your city, you know, and we sponsored by well, World Stars back in the tour. So everything that you get is going instantly on World Star. Yeah. And um, 
yeah, you could just we could get it popping. Just music video tour live dot com. Uh, you can hit up show out show out beats Instagram or Erica XO XO for all that information. You, you so, know. what's one of the things that inspires you as you go on in your career? Inspiration. Let me think. Uh, well, my inspiration comes from people like like I might get a random comment on Instagram like. Dang, I remember you used to come to the gym at so and so and so and play basketball. I see you in pictures with Oprah now, and it's like I don't think of how far I came until they they remind me. You feel what I'm saying? I just keep going. It so it's like right. that inspires me to 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 be able to witness my past self through somebody else's eyes. That makes sense. That's a good answer. You need to tell us about this picture with Oprah. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you? Make oh yeah, that so Oprah walked up on me like. We was at a private, we was at a private dinner, private event, mm -hmm. and she was like, "You should try this macaroni," and it was um a private dinner for this for the Selma movie because I was a, a extra in Selma. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, shout out to Kevin Mays by the way, he's um celebrity fashion designer. He got me in that movie. Um, but um, so I, I just grab her hand like, "Oh my god," and I kiss her hand like, I'm talking to a queen right now, like, right. Hi, like. You know, like, can I? You mind if I just grab a picture with you? Get the macaroni in a minute. <laughs> so, she moved this little kid to the side, take a picture with me real quick. You know. Right. Then the person that took in the picture, like, nah, I'm about to hop in the picture too. So I kind of just cropped them out later on. <laughs> but yeah, so it was just from there on, like, and then um, that's where I got connected with another guy, another actor. Mm -hmm. His name is Michael K. Williams. He uh, played Omar in The Wire. And he's been back in the whole two a million thing. Like right. when I go to New York, that's who I rock with. And he got me in Bessie. Um, had my own trailer. I had my own role where Queen Latifah walks in a rent scene, and she's like a rent shaking scene, and she's like, "You got the moves. I'm dancing or whatever." So uh, check out Bessie on HBO. Uh, you know, look, you moving already? Right. Network you king over here. I'm so trying to do it. I don't dance. I had to do some I 1960s call. like. <laughs> You know, <laughs> like yeah, but um, I'm trying to I'm trying to do something with the dancing. If you choreograph, hit me up. I'm trying to bring some girls on tour with me. Well, have girls come out to the shows in in every city. So mm -hmm. we are gonna figure that out. Right, that's what's up. You got See? a lot going on. A good agenda, but you know what? We need to get into who is two a.m. with some juicy questions. So you cool with that? Let's make it juicy. Okay. So name let's let's hear three words to describe yourself right now. Three words. Three words off the top of your dome. Off the top of my dome, down. I don't know why the first word was a lesbian. <laughs> what? Cuz I just love women like it's just like Why is that the first word? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought of myself as a lesbian like I just I just love seeing women <laughs> on women on women, but um the second word is uh ambitious. Mhm. Mm Third word is mm. This is so hard. It's so hard. I don't know I don't know. I don't want to say anything. Original. Bam. See that's a good one. The that last one that they all were good. Original is the best one. Yeah. For real. You got your own clothing line. I mean Oprah I'm, original. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it up. Like y'all, right. you know, I'm trying to get right. Like like the juice box. What inspired the nose ring? Because you just oh. shining. Oh, all right. So I'm getting off of, um work. When I first came to Atlanta, I just got a job because I, I, I couldn't just be in, be in the studio, be in the house, not networking. So I started working at Forever 21 or whatever. And then I was taking a... um Yeah, yeah, that story is pretty dope. But I was taking one of the employees home, one of my coworkers. And she was like, yeah, you know. I'm about to go get this piercing. You should just come. It's two for 20. I get one and you get one. And then I was like, uh, I'll take you, but I ain't probably going to get one. So then we get there and she's like, nah, it's cool. I'm going to pay for it. And then they say, oh, well, you got to get two piercings. You can't split a piercing. So mm -hmm. that's when I had to get two things pierced. We ain't going to talk about what else I got pierced. It's unpierced now. Ooh. But yeah, so that's how it happened. I Right, I mean, we gonna keep it. We gonna keep it. We gonna no, we we gonna we gonna. You got your nipple pierced. The left one. It was the left. one. It was the left one too. Oh my god. Yeah. So 
that was that was just a situation ship. <laughs> you know, don't don't ever fall for that. Oh, don't right. ever fall for nobody no, trying to take you to take them to, to get pierced. Get a free piercing. You know what? Whatever right. she wanted, she got the pick, didn't she? Right. You're getting this pierced, and nah, I I ain't know what else to get pierced. That really, that is crazy. Like, I can't yeah, bro, the tear to my eye. I was like. <laughs> I just got up and walked out. It was so many girls there looking at so me laughing. So, how long before you took it out? Uh, like a year. Not like a month. A month. You wasn't enjoying it. It <laughs> just was like, why would I? Like, like, what was I doing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I went through it, so. So you really are a lesbian at heart. Maybe so. Maybe <laughs> that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. If you could go back in time and talk to any person. Who would that person be? I would go back and talk to my grandfather. Because I heard, like, when he was about to pass away, he was in the hospital. Uh -huh. Steady playing my video for people. Like, this video they they about to play on the station or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he was steady, like, where's my grandson? Like, playing this video. Like, you, I want I just want to see my grandson. So you feel what I'm saying? I never got to witness my grandparents' experience in my music. Hmm. So you feel what I'm saying? They don't get to experience everything that I'm doing right now. Right. And that's what I do it for. So, you know? That's what I would talk to. See, that's inspiring right there. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. I want to talk to my grandmother. My grandmother, she was mean to me. <laughs> she was so mean. But you got to love them, though. Uh, I guess. You got to love them. <laughs> okay, so um, let's keep it juicy. Let's see what else we could ask you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what inspired you to make this? brand you know your clothing because okay so who drew it up for you because all right shout out to b woods he don't get enough love my creative director mm -hmm. b woods made my logo made my mistake covers made all my logos since i've been in college shout out to b woods but um basically 2 a.m uh music video tour joe let me tie along with it it's the lost in america tour basically my whole movement is lost in america i feel like we are people trying to make a face for ourselves right. torn between time and america we are on the same clock we are the same amount of time so that's how the whole two to a million lost in america you feel what i'm saying yeah it's oh. very symbolic see people have no faces okay right they don't have any faces we are just trying to make a face for ourselves but Damn. you see we colorful people that's a good answer. You prepared well for this interview. Oh yeah, I really didn't plan for this interview, but I really love it. I love being here with with with, with beautiful women, of course. <laughs> well, we are so happy that you came to join us. Of here course, of course. And Let me put my clothes back on. Edition of the Juice Box because my birthday is tomorrow. Her yeah, birthday is tomorrow. Gift? Where's the gift? Woo woo! Oh yeah, I did. Woo. I mean to bring y'all some crop hoodies, real talk, but I have forgotten oh, the crib. Yeah, you we could we could definitely wear those next, next week. Tuesday. Come on. Okay. See, that would have been popping if they would have. Before had you go to the, st before you go on tour, oh, guys, yeah. slide through and give us some hoodies. I'm gonna slide through so we can wrap. <laughs> ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous. He's a clever one, man. Okay. Oh, you know what? What's the best birthday gift you've ever gotten since it's Lenisa's birthday? The best birthday gift I ever gotten. Was right now. Right. nah oh. juicy? Hey. Nah, the best birthday gift I ever gotten was when I was like five or six. My mom came to the school and threw a birthday party, and it was like I remember everybody just. I was one of those people like, yeah, I got cake. Mm. Yeah, now y'all got it. I'm sure. in control. You feel me? So when she brought the cake and everything I had to the school, it was like, yeah. And then y'all stand at attention. I'm about to cut this cake for y'all. Y'all going. <laughs> so, you know, that was like the best feeling ever. Like. Right. So did you not share with the people who Oh, yeah, I shared. To you? I shared. I shared for, for sure. Like, okay. giving is what I'm all about. Like, right. every time people reach out, they should have something in their hand. You feel you what I'm saying? What? You look like you need a monkey on your shoulder. I really want to invest in a zebra, a zebra or a giraffe. How much can those go the, for? Because like, I really wouldn't have wanted to come with a pet, like a pet tiger. I feel like I'm just. You like you need some type of something. A pet right. tiger, that's kind of shaky because when he grow up, I don't know how he might be acting. He might realize that he's the king of the jungle. We all got to grow up sometimes. Well, right. well, actually, the lion is the king of the jungle. Right, still, we but. That too mixed up. So you must be a Leo. Must be. And you must be. A Libra. Yes. No. 
uh, Capricorn. I'm the best sign of them all. Oh, she's not. She's not. The best sign. You what is the best sign? You, you can't be the best sign. Oh, every it's Scorpio, I hear they're the best signs. Not, really? It's not like no competition. Yeah, I'm half. Me. I'm half man, half yeah. beast. Leo's, Leo's are cool. Leo's love. Um, Leo's love Sagittarius. Well, we don't want to get into that. That's but all I'm saying is, Leo yeah, is and um, Scorpios. Let's not. Yeah. Let's steer away from the exactly. Scorpio. Let's keep it juicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need to ask you a couple more juicy questions to get to know the real 2 a.m. Okay. So name one of your first, well, name one of your worst pet peeves. Something you hate, can't stand. My worst pet peeve is hair. Hair? Yeah, like body hair oh. on women. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Taco. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, okay. How do you That's feel about good. that facial hair? It looks a little itchy. Oh, this facial hair right here. You know, I really don't know how I feel about having a beard. It just keeps coming back. <laughs> so it's like when you get to a point, you just got to let it be. You know, it is what it is. Like, I had a beard since I was like 14. Ridiculous. So, Did you have like a nickname? Yeah, like I'm, everybody thinks I'm like 27 years old, 26 years old that I meet. Like, really? So it's like, yeah. It's it's cool that you look older. You know, you probably got to get in all the clubs without... ID being checked, all of that. I can't even get a Rello without them checking my ID. Are you serious? You got a beer? Are you supposed to use that to your right. advantage? Uh, Bro, but it's I'm cool. We got Splitter Rellos, Extendos USA on tour with us, so we ain't got to buy Rellos no more. Females right. have beers nowadays, so you have to check ID. For real. Females oh have beers and mustaches, too. Oh, yeah, that's real. It's Atlanta. <laughs> it's Atlanta. I saw some things in Atlanta that I cannot even speak of. <laughs> Horrible, but you know what? Can you tell people your social media, etc., where they can find you? I thought you was about to say my social security. Was... What? Why would I put you out there like right, that? So... Have everybody buying the phone in your name? Right, nah. nah. But on um, my social media is um the number two a million on every, on Instagram, right? Uh, YouTube. You can look at my videos, and you can watch all the cool. Uh, clips of everything i'm doing um soundcloud to a million uh go to music video tour if you're trying to be involved if you're a videographer right. anything of that nature and um follow show out beats follow joe young spike make sure you follow joe young spike because it's about to go down you don't even understand we pulling off we pulling up and pulling you know right. so you know, I got to shout out Live Hip Hop Daily and everybody doing their thing at the Juice Box Live. So I just appreciate this opportunity with y'all. I actually, I got one more juicy question because we got to ask him this since he got so many groupies. What? What is it? Finish the statement. A groupie once told me. Bam. Come on. Told you something crazy. <laughs> A groupie once told me. She don't suck. Oh my god. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. Groupies don't I don't talk to groupies. I let I leave them in my comments like I leave them in my comments like right. I, you I really get like hundreds of comments and I don't respond. That's the easiest thing to like, do. Like I just don't talk to groupies. Just, I, I'm focused. I'm sorry ladies. Damn. It's too late if you're re if you're watching this it's too late. <laughs> that was clever. There we go. So what are we about to see? Your video. Your video. Oh, in the video, you about to see me basically witnessing myself at a stage of fame that I didn't realize I ch I sold my soul basically to gain. Okay. So this video is called Sold Souls, and um, it's shot and directed by Diamond Nelson and Colin Scouting, Bad Piano Productions. Let's get to it. <laughs> 